Oh. <sighs> Holy crap, my coach is trying to kill me. <sighs> oh. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jared James here. Welcome back to another video. I'm just in front of the gym right now, about to head in. I got some pre-workout I'm gonna be starting off with. Oh man, you ever just inhale that shit? I'm gonna take you guys through my squat and bench session. It's gonna be a little bit different because this is the first week of my new block. I'm feeling a little bit achy from when I peeked out on all my lifts, in particularly a little bit in my elbows and my wrists. Fiona's already in the gym, <laughs> working out. What are you hitting today? Legs. It's hot. Legs? Hot. She also got me a new sticker <laughs> for my belt. Hey, <laughs> this sounds so weird. What's going on guys? I'm recording a voiceover for you. This is the first time I've ever used a mic before, so bear with me. So we're doing things a little bit differently in this video. I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what I'm doing during my workout. So earlier in the video, I was talking about how I was having some elbow and wrist pain. So as you guys can see here with my 405 pound squat, I am doing a suicide grip. So today was my first day back working out after taking a full week off. So I'm doing 405 pounds for five sets of five. And let me tell you, it felt like death. You know those memes where they say pain, that's exactly what I was feeling. For those of you that don't know what suicide grip is, it's where you put your thumb over the barbell. The reason why I'm doing that is so I'm not gripping the barbell as tight and that allows me to take pressure off of my elbows and it really helps me keep my wrist straight. If you could get your suicide grip in the right position, you won't feel any pain in your elbows or wrists at all and it'll also allow you to keep the barbell a little bit lower and more importantly pain free and that's all we can really ask for during this workout is pain free movement just watching this video right now is making me feel tired and sore this is my third set and this is where i start to feel my quads starting to feel like i'm getting a pump because i'm like what 15 reps in here so recently I've been trying to go down on my squats a lot slower than I usually do. The reason why is because I find my chest would start to cave forward and I feel like I'm trying to good morning the weight up when I squat. And my coach and I have kind of been torn between this because he believes I should go down faster and I think I need to go down a little bit slower. I definitely notice it a lot more when I'm pushing 500 pounds on squat or more. So I'm just going to go with whatever I feel is best. Okay, so fifth and final set. As you can see, my lovely girlfriend painted her nails for this video. No, I'm just kidding. No, she didn't do it for this video. But she did paint her nails and how convenient I got her fingers on video. I'd say this last set felt like an RPE of 10, but looked like an RPE of 7. So I marked it as an RPE of 7. <sighs> Holy crap, my coach is trying to kill me. <sighs> Alright, moving on to the pecs, the chest pectoral muscles, the bench press. Actually, I'm doing close grip bench press, I'm working up to 275 pounds for five sets of five. And this feels extremely hard. Like look at the increased range of motion when I press. This is definitely a lot harder than a wide grip bench press. And I think there's a lot of benefits to incorporating close grip bench. One of the biggest benefits for me is my wrists and my elbows. 
they don't get as sore as it they do with wide grip bench press so it's a great tool that i use to let my wrists and elbows fully recover it's also really good if you always wide grip bench press and you switch to close grip it's a great way to challenge yourself more without actually frying yourself out so the intensity is higher just because you have that increased range of motion there's a lot more demand on your triceps when you do bench press like this and even if you do go till failure it's not nearly the same amount of energy that you would use when you do a wide grip bench press for failure I find with close grip bench press, you can't really get the same amount of leg drive as you would with a wide grip bench press. So you're really emphasizing the upper body muscles to push the weight up versus when you do a wide grip bench press, you are a lot more reliant on your leg drive. So if you don't already, you should start incorporating close grip bench press. If you guys like this style of video, please make sure to let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Can't get enough of what you got. Good God, you hit the spot. Try to let go, but I just cannot. So don't you stop. I need that glow. Try to cold, hotter, even way out in London town. Hoes holler 'cause they love my sound, and I got love for the underground. Quality, pimps.